As to Frederick, uh, a bunch of you won't know Frederick because he lives in, uh, uh, in Paris where he is an extremely uh, well-known person. You know, in, in, in France, they have a route. Uh, the route in America sort of wanders around a bit, you know, to success. In France, it's not so variable. And you, you go to their grande coles, uh, you take jobs in government, you find your way into industry, uh, you do well. Uh, and then uh, you retire with great acclaim. That, that's like the standard route uh, in, in, in France. Uh, and, and Frederick uh, started uh, on that, uh, that, that journey. Uh, he went to the Ecole Polytechnique, uh, the Ecole Nationale d'Administration, uh, and, and then, uh, of course, he uh, went into government uh, and had a variety of positions that will mean almost nothing to you uh, because they have funny names in France for these <laughs> positions which were mostly in the financial area where he met uh, sort of a young minister uh, he did some work for named uh, Nicolas Sarkozy. So accidents in life are a good thing, uh, as we know. Having a mentor is important. Uh, you know, for everyone, and, and I, I think that was a good piece of luck uh, uh, for Frederick. And in 1995, he, he left doing those government functions, as they do uh, in France, and joined Societe Generale, uh, where uh, he started in the equity department and then worked his way up to chief financial officer. And then uh, uh, when there started becoming some problems uh, in the 07, 08 area, uh, he became, uh, for his sins, a deputy uh, president of Societe Generale, one of their four large banks. Uh, and then he had the real misfortune uh, in, in May uh, of being uh, the CEO. Now, for those of you who remember, uh, um, 2008, uh, it, it didn't turn out well. <laughs> uh, and whether you were running a bank in the United States, a financial institution in, 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 in Russia, uh, uh, you know, it, it, was, it was horrific. Uh, the world literally uh, could have slipped away. Uh, and we would have uh, had a much smaller dinner. Uh, <laughs> and it would have cost you a lot less to be here, uh, uh, you know, given the deflation we all would have had. Uh, and, and Frederick went from a normal kind of dancing through life to horror, uh, actually, uh, because Running a major European financial institution in the heart of the financial crisis where the regulatory apparatus was doing the wrong things to preserve the safety of institutions. They did some right things, but they made it really difficult. Uh, they didn't, uh, Central Bank uh, didn't uh, provide enough uh, borrowing capability and liquidity uh, the Basel people kept telling everyone they didn't have enough capital, which would be fine unless you actually had to raise liabilities every day. And what happened is, is that they ended up destabilizing the situation, um, and it happened later uh, in Europe. They waited for Frederick to take the job, uh, actually, to do that. Uh, and, and so he got caught up. Uh, in, in the worst financial crisis, uh, and, and then something really bad happened uh, for those of us in finance. What, what happened is that people started saying, I don't think your institution's going to make it. Now, um, when, I, when I was young, I, I believed that um, in, in New York, someone was, was, was happy only if someone they knew well was failing. Uh, and uh, apparently, that basic approach to life works when financial institutions, the financial system gets in trouble. There, there's always some sense that there's a vulnerable institution and, and the wolves circle around it and they 
They, uh, you know, create rumors that, uh, that aren't necessarily true, but you can make those rumors become true if you say them enough and people lose confidence. And Frederick was um, presented with one of those once in a lifetime, or hopefully once in a lifetime challenges, where he basically had to save his company. Uh, and I, I, I would see Frederick a lot. I lived, I lived in um, Paris uh, for uh, eight months uh, in, um, uh, in, in 2010, which is one of the things you do with this second marriage, uh, you know, to <laughs> make them happy. Uh, you know, it's a first marriage, you say, I'm not going, okay? Second marriage, oh, yes, dear, sounds like a great idea. Uh, and, and, uh, and, and, and I saw a lot of Frederick, and I, I could tell what was going on by how pale he, he was. Uh, and this, this is something, I'm used to seeing people under stress. That's sort of what you do in finance. And, and you know, Walter's had a lot of experience that, too. Sometimes we cause the stress. But some, <laughs> so, sometimes, you know, we, we're used to, you know, people, whether they're doing mergers or having problems being under stress. Uh, and, and then they appointed him uh, as part of the uh, uh, IIF, uh, uh, you know, sort of capital committee. Uh, and then he became, uh, I don't know why he keeps accepting these things, sort of the, the chief representative of the French banking system, dealing with everybody. Uh, so he wasn't just responsible for Sokjen, uh, but, but he had a broader brief. Where, where he was the guy who dealt with all these nasty people who were trying to save you but half putting you out of business. Uh, and I watched Frederick do this and go around the world, explain what was going on with his institution, make the right moves, and convince the global system that, that his institution was fine, which it was, but which it didn't have to be. And there aren't that many people get called to do that. And about half of them fail with disastrous consequences for the people who work for him. So Frederick, who you'll meet in a second, is actually he's a very modest guy, uh, but he's really a hero. And he's taken on some huge dragons, and he's slayed them, and he's cheerful. And I could tell his bank and the French system's in a lot better. I saw him. Uh, you know, probably a few months ago uh, uh, in Paris, he actually had a tan and he was smiling. So you knew it was time, you know, that you could actually uh, believe that the euro was going to survive uh, because he's the indicator. Uh, so so I, I wanted to uh, just tell him how much I admire him and what he's done. He's got a charming wife. She's a great tennis player, uh, which is always a good thing, uh, like tennis. Uh, and he has a, a rich life, uh, and he's a remarkable uh, person who President Sarkozy called um, when things were troubled, uh, and, and Frederick is one of those few people responsible for, for getting the ship home. <laughs>